yeah now this is part two of the three part video series that i'm doing about how i use my microsoft onenote templates to plan my months my weeks and my days previous video was about how i plan my month i will link the video up here somewhere and i recommend starting with that because i'm going to break down from the monthly to the weekly to the daily it'll be a lot easier for you today's video i'm going to show you how i plan my weeks now if you're new to this channel my name is anna um, i love to make videos about organization life management and planning uh, if you're interested in that consider subscribing if you want you can hit the bell so you will never miss an upload now let's just get right into it now so this is the second episode of the mini planning series and today i'm going to talk about weekly planning and show you how the weekly planning is done i made a previous video about the monthly planning so if you have not seen that one yet, I urge you to check that one out first and then come back because they're kind of in an order. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my dates here. So the week of. The next thing I recommend to check is your habit tracker. So everything that's written down on your habit tracker and it should have been done on the templates in the first place because the habit tracker is going to be the exact same every week unless you decide to change them. In case if you do decide to add a few things or remove a few things, I recommend you do that on the template because when you copy and paste the template, the habits will always be there. They don't really change that much usually, so it would be a pain writing them down every single week. It would just take too much time sometimes. Unless your habits always change and there's barely a, any of them, that's fine. You can you can leave it blank on the template and then fill it up on the copy sheet. So the next thing I'm gonna do is write the goals for the week. So to get the goals for the week, I basically look at my monthly overview and look at the goals that I have for the month. So I'm going to take one goal from here and break it down to something that I can do in a week to get closer to the goal that I have for the month and then the other two will probably be maybe something else. Now the next thing I look at is the highlighters and um, mine are completely different to what yours are. You can pick whatever colors you want and then just put meanings to them. I do this on the template as well because you don't really change that at all every week. Mine are done so I'm gonna move on from that. Now I have this note section here and I'm going to use that note section as basically writing down the tasks that I've picked from the monthly overview to do this week and this includes the tasks that i wrote down on the brain dump in the notes section here as well as from the constant to do so i'm going to choose tasks from my notes section in the monthly overview as well as the constant to do's list put them all here they can be unorganized for now and we'll just we're just gonna categorize them later Now you can add more tasks during the week if something really needs to be done uh, last minute but usually I don't write them on the weekly sheet, I just usually write them on the daily sheet since they're so last minute but if it's something huge then um, of course I'm gonna acknowledge it at the end of the week if it's a big accomplishment that I did I'm, then I'm gonna write it down but anyways now I'm actually gonna look at what I've written here and then I'm just gonna look what is considered self-care and I'm gonna add that to the box Okay, and then whatever tasks I have left here, I'm gonna write them uh, on the week at a glance, including the self-care routine and the chores for the week. It's a 
basically give myself an idea of what each day is going to look like at a glance. So I basically just kind of try to plan my whole week ahead. But then again, things change sometimes, so don't stress about it too much. I don't anyways. I just try to go off of it as much as I can. Um, however, we're all human and things happen last minute sometimes. Don't beat yourself up for that. But anyways, I'm gonna fill it up. So I'm gonna start with these tasks here and then these ones and then these ones. now so that is done the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to highlight pretty much everything that is on the week at a glance so i'm just going to start with from the top and go to the bottom so scheduled events is first anything that is scheduled for that day or as an event or dates or appointments or things like that then i highlight um in purple And the reason why I do this is so I would have an easier time looking at the week at a glance because colors make more sense to me. It's just easier to look at when you quickly want to look at something. I'm just going to quickly highlight everything. now i'm done so we want to explain the habit tracker as well so you fill this every single day your habits are different from mine i just i don't even at this point i don't even track only habits just and i just track normal things even like regular things that we do i don't know why anyways so it's from monday to sunday track it every day put a little i just draw in it then at the end of the week i also fill out these two boxes it's the same like it is in the monthly sheet uh, i just write my three achievements my three biggest achievements that i did that week and then ways to improve next week i just track the weekly achievements and improvements as well and that's it that's basically it that's how i plan my week ahead no and that's basically how i plan my week hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did consider giving it a like and let me know how you are getting on with your planning now that is it for me i'm going to see you on my next video so i'll see you next time ciao